welcome back. Today I wanted to do another tutorial on chrome nails, but not just your normal chrome nails. We're going to be doing a chevron chrome tip. Uh, chrome nails are like the hot thing right now and everybody wants chrome. So if you want to find out how I achieve a chrome French chevron tip nail chrome, <laughs> keep on watching. Okay, so these nails already have been based and then two layers of black gel polish of your choice and I did use a no wipe top coat it's it's a must for chrome nails it makes things so much easier so get yourself some of that and there are two applicators this is the tool uh, silicone tool thing um, I prefer not to use that I don't know I just it's hard to keep clean and I just rather use the makeup eyeshadow applicator for this Okay, so pick up a small amount of pigment. You don't need a lot because you are just doing the tips. We're not doing the whole nail. In this demo, I'm going to do a French chrome tip. You can do whatever shape you want to do. If you want to do chevron, you want to go diagonal, go for it. Just make sure you're placing the pigment on the nail based on the shape that you want. So for instance, if you want a chevron, make sure you're going high enough on the side so you can get the V of the chevron and place the pigment all over, really pack it in there, get the tips, the sidewalls, and just get really good coverage. You don't want any areas that are kind of faded. And what you could do, you can make this a, uh, an ombre, like a gradient chrome, so kind of leave it like this, and with the other side of your applicator sponge, you can kind of just fade out whatever excess is on there, and that would look really cool too. Okay, so now you're done applying your chrome to your tips. You're going to take off any excess dust. I'm just using the back of my applicator to dust off. Whatever you use is fine, just as long as you don't scratch the chrome that's on the nail. So I'm just checking to make sure I have like really good coverage on the tips, on the sides. And if there is chrome pigment on the black area at the bottom in the base, that's okay. It's going to be cleaned off at the end. Okay, so now we're gonna paint the French part for the chrome. So grab your no wipe top coat and start painting the French tip on. It is a little difficult because you can't really see where you're painting it, so just do the best you can. And make sure you stay on the bottom side of the chrome. You don't wanna go any higher than where you place the chrome because it's gonna seal in what's there and we want it to look very crisp and clean. So just get really good coverage. Make sure you get those sides, the tips. You don't want that chrome to kind of fade out and the black will start to show through. Okay, so what you could do, you can flash cure that so you don't mess it up while you're doing your other nails. And I'm just gonna show you how I do the rest of the fingers. I like to start in the middle when I do a French and then just kind of use that as my guide to do the rest of uh, the French. I do turn my nail a lot because I wanna see, I can't really see you know, where I'm putting the top coat as easily. So I turn it a lot so I can see the reflection of the top coat. And then once you're all done with five fingers, cure for the full one minute or 30 seconds or whatever your top coat recommends. And then now you're going to take a lint-free pad and you're going to saturate your pad with alcohol. And you're going to rub all of the excess chrome off and you want your pad to be clean. So flip it over, get a new one, whatever, and really take off any of that excess chrome and you'll see we have a chrome French tip. So I'm going to show you now, um, you know, I have a couple fingers that aren't exactly perfect. So what you're going to do is you're going to grab your black polish, put it on a little palette or something and a fine detailed brush. 
It doesn't have to be super small, but just enough to pick up the gel polish. And you're just going to pick some up and you're going to place it, you know, clean up. Oh, it's almost like re a reverse cleanup, but you're doing it with polish instead of acetone or alcohol or whatever. So I'm just going to clean up my smile line a little bit. It was a little wonky. And then what you're going to do is after you're done cleaning it up, um, sorry, not cleaning it up, but touching up the French, whatever excess polish is there, just kind of blend it back towards the cuticle so it's not thick or you don't feel like this big bulge, you know, at the French area. And then you're going to cure it and then top coat it again. Thanks for watching, guys. Hope you found this video helpful. Like and subscribe, and I'll see you all next time.